Let's uh, let's play some music, shall, shall we? This is Aaron Gabbard with She Forgot About Me. Well, I don't know. Did you try calling her? Son of a bitch! You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I've been covering it up for many years But I'm lonelier now after all these beers And I know that she hates me Wow, way too much going on with the guitars, first and foremost <laughs> From the whiskey and cold to the jack and the crown I just need to stand up, but I'm laying down Cause she hates me I'm not there. See, and here is red as fire. Yeah, it's definitely got some timing issues. Uh, kick drum needs to come up as well. Because the kick's like non existent. Oh, fuck! God damn it! Okay, there it is. It's just, it's just poking through barely. We need to you hear the drums too much. Yes, um, John Pittman, you're right. It is a little too much distortion. Fortunately, that's really easy to fix. You know, all you got to do is go get the Bogren amp knob and just uh, just pl- turn up, turn the knob. That's all you have to do because it works great. And you don't have to turn the knob all the way for a metal tone, but you know you can just drop that in on your mix, and it's going to give you a guitar sound you're looking for. There's that. The amp roots from Fluff sounds really good as well. That one's free. I know there's a lot of great audio assault stuff out there, but it sounds like you got a lot of distortion going on, and you kind of scoop the mids, and that's why you got that kind of thin guitar sound. <laughs> I blame guitar rig. Who makes guitar rig? I haven't used guitar rig. Is that Native Instruments? Yeah. Should bug Native Instruments and see see what they're doing these days. Uh, like I said, I just checked out IK Multimedia's uh, Tonex, and that that gives you some pretty fucking good results. Get the chug o meter from Ola. I have no idea what the hell that is. Head rush chug o meter. Beer bong. Nope. I, well, I did a Google search for Chuggo Meter and I got beer bongs. So, yeah, I, I'd say, well, if you, this is a great thing. If you did it in, in uh, guitar, or what did what, you say? Guitar rig? Yeah, go. So, you obviously have your DI tracks. Yeah, go get the Bogren Amp Knob um, demo and try that. That's a good, good place to start right there. Okay, the other thing to do is go get some vocal lessons. Damn! And I'm not saying that it's be insulting, but, uh, you know, it's people always get offended, you know, when I say hey, you need some vocal lessons. Hey, John Lynn, history. good morning, sir. You're up next. Uh, that's how it works in a kid-inspired reg- reggae cover you did last week. Okay, cool. Hold on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're, we're still talking about Aaron here for a minute here. Okay, stop! There we go. Okay. Stop, motherfucker! Stop! Don't you tell me what to do! The guitars are really thin, so yeah. God damn it. You've already got DI tracks, you know, when you're recording your guitars dry. So yeah, go try Bogren Amp Nom. Go get the amp roots from Fluff. It's kind of hard to mess those up, and they're a good jumping off point, and that can kind of give you a good idea where to start. The great thing about the Bogren Amp Nom is don't crank the distortion all the way. Uh, that kind of a song doesn't need a lot of distortion, which is fine. Uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to put like an SSL bus compressor across your mix, and that's going to help um, kind of get things under control and kind of make things a little easier to mix, to be honest with you, and kind of give everything a nice gel. And uh, you want to go hey, four to one well, ratio. Well, to hey, one thank one you, one Sinners one. Rise. You're up right after John Lint. Thank you so much. We've got a Q now. Okay, I still need. I need really need to look into getting a Q meter here and whatnot. Um, but yeah, okay. So, or anyway, where was it going here? Um, so an SSL bus compressor on your mix, four to one ratio, uh, thirty millisecond tack auto release, about four dBs of compression. You want the meter to go to about four dBs. That's going to help kind of even your mix out. And you can get freeware versions of those. The Slate's got them. I'm not sure what your plug-in package is, but most people have. Um, 
have that, that that's going to help out a lot. So try your guitar doing that uh, to your guitars. And like I said, an SSL bus compressor, that's going to help even out your mix. Bring the drums up a little bit, maybe turn the guitars down a little bit. But for the love of Chrome, go get some vocal lessons. God damn it. Not to be an insulting prick, I'm trying to help. And that's the, the biggest problem with that whole thing was the vocal performance. You're goddamn right I'm living in the fucking past. Uh, you need to learn how to build stuff up. You're like, ah, nah. you go, oh, oh. you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta let, let, you gotta belt it out in those passionate moments and really let people hear you roar. It sounds like you're holding back because you haven't trained your vocal cords and it's a muscle you need to work and, and built strength on. It's like any other muscle and all it does is going to take a lot of practice, but some instruction will help big time. Damn it. Can't believe it. See, now John Lennon has definitely taken some vocal lessons in his day. He's got some wonderful control and knows how to hit the notes. You fucking rock, Aaron. Oh, snap.